All right, so today we'll be playing a game called Ingrown Toenail Removal. And uh, <laughs> a lot of other people have done this. And yeah, so may we not ignore my awesomeness looks right now. I got my hood up um, because earlier it was actually pretty freezing. And yeah, sorry for the late upload. I did take a nap today because I was tired. <laughs> and um, yeah, because I stayed up until 5 last... You get the point. I got my shades here. I, wore, I wear these on stream a lot. So if you don't turn in or tune into my streams, then uh, be sure to do that. And let's just start this thing. Alright, so... Do I... Nah, yeah. Alright, I'm going to turn up the brightness a little bit. because Alright, it's loading. Alright, Surgery Squad. Hello, and welcome to Surgery Squad's virtual ingrown toenail removal. Okay. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I will be guiding you through this procedure today. An ingrown toenail happens when the edge of the toenail grows down and into the flesh of the toe. When this occurs, there is usually a moderate amount of pain, redness, and swelling around the toenail. An ingrown toenail is usually caused when extra pressure is applied to the toe due to shoes that are too tight or too loose. And that is gross. Toenails, foot or toe deformities. I've never had that and happen. Toenail issues can also be contributing factors. There are some ways to treat an ingrown toenail at home to relieve some of the pain, but remember that you should never attempt to remove an never. ingrown toenail. Never, just yourself. never, guys. Remember that. If you're a never. diabetic and have an ingrown toenail, it is recommended that you go to the doctor immediately. Yep, go to the doctor. Now that you understand the causes of an ingrown toenail, I don't understand it at all. I didn't get anything from that. Our patient is ready, so let's begin by disinfecting the toe. Oh no, okay, okay. Uh, click and drag the... Into, uh, I think I've watched a couple other videos on this. Click continue when done. Oh god, I don't think I'm done. Oh no, oh no, this is nasty. I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, continue. I'm done. Now, we need to numb the toe with a local anesthetic. We'll have to inject the anesthetic in several locations around the toe. Okay, okay. Uh, click where indicated to inject the local... Okay. Um, right there? Oh, that... Oh, that's gross. Great. Okay. Now we'll wait a few minutes for the toe to get numb. Took a little while. Uh, five minutes later. Please tell me it's not actually going to make me wait. Okay, good. Now that our patient's toe is numb, place the special tourniquet around the toe. This will help reduce the amount of blood coming from the wound. Once you've done that, we can move on to removing the ingrown portion of the toenail. Okay. There we go. Yeah, yo. I don't know. First, carefully slide one blade oh, of the nail anvil no. into the affected nail. Click where the indicated position. Oh no, this is gross. <laughs> this We're is so. Going to go down oh. the nail until we feel oh, yeah. a little bit of resistance. Yeah. Okay. Our patient's going to feel some pressure as we cut away the ingrown. Oh, oh, yes, that is. Oh yeah, I feel it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. oh. Great. Take the forceps and carefully remove. Yeah, the just take those nail. forceps. Okay. Okay. It's getting kind of messy in there. Let's clean up that blood. Okay. Um. Okay, what do I do? Oh, okay, okay. See that small bit of oh, pale yellow substance nasty. right there? It looks like the patient has a bit of infection in the toe. Firmly squeeze the edge of the toe to get as much of that infection out as you can. Squeeze it? Do I hold it? Oh! Who? Ooh, ooh. Okay, uh, I'm not exaggerating. That this is nasty. This is starting to look much better, but we're not done yet. Next, we're going to apply some phenyl acid to the wound. This will help ensure that the problem of ingrowth will... When you're done inserting the acid, I'll remove oh. the tourniquet. Oh, yeah, just stick it all in there and just... Oh, my God. Okay, now we're going to... Yeah, okay. Finish by applying some antibiotic ointment on a sterile gauze pad. Okay, I I can do that. <laughs> you can't get any worse than this. He's already oh. against the toe and wrap it in a gauze bandage. All right. 
Looks like they do that for me. Fantastic job. Since there was some obvious infection, our patient will be sent home with a prescription for some antibiotics. We'll All also right. need to tell our patient <laughs> to keep the wound dry, clean the wound regularly, and replace the bandage two to three times a day. While our patient's toenail isn't likely to regrow, his condition is likely to return if he doesn't take care of his feet. No. This includes wearing proper fitting shoes, properly trimming his toenails, and keeping his feet clean and dry. That would suck. And that's how we remove an ingrown toenail. Yes, that's how we do it, guys. That is how we do it. While you're here, try your hand at one of our other surgeries here at SurgerySquad.com. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that in this video, but I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video for what it is. It's kind of gross, but it was also fun. Uh, I did think that we cut the toenail a little bit too much. Maybe not. I don't, what, what do I know? I, all I know is it's gross. And, uh, yeah, sorry for the late upload, but, yeah, <laughs> again... And see you, the, see you guys in the next video.